Liverpool demolished Sparta Bragi uh, today in a game that was really, really dominant from Liverpool in preparation for Manchester City. Like you could see the way they are playing, you know, especially most, you know, players that you expect them not to start next game. Like, um, uh, but like the players that you don't expect them to start next game, but also a sad thing that is Ibrahim Okonate got injured and uh, it's really sad, you know, to see after we get one player back, we lose another player, you know. I don't know where the cast is, I don't know who's the cast, who's casting us, but I at the moment we can't get a break. Uh, everyone, every time we get a player back, we're losing another one. So I really do not understand what is going on. But all in all, you know, it's sometimes bad news has become good news and so on and so forth and you know as you can see I'm not you know overly excited I'm happy that we won but I know on Saturday on Sunday that's the game that really matters that's the real game we really want to win that's the game we really want to prove the, to others that we really here to establish ourselves you know that's we really title contenders that's the game that's gonna prove prove that if Liverpool is title pretenders or title contenders, you know. So it was really good. I'm really happy that Mo Salah scored a goal. That was, uh, I don't know, we, and using which rule of side, I up to now, I don't know. It was clearly onside. Uh, maybe they were correcting one mistake with another. The game, the goal was clearly onside, to, on my opinion. Um, and to anyone who knows football rules. Uh, another thing is that... Uh, Endo played well, McAllister played well, so Sobo played well and he came on, Robertson played well, you know, uh, Kwanza played well, uh, and Kelha played well, you know. We were really expected to win this game, you know, and we really did it. Uh, one thing I will say, um, well, what's it called, Diaz is back, really, really, is he's back, you know, he's really that Diaz we bought for that money, he has really contributed in the last eight weeks he has really shown up when the team really needed and that's what you need you know don't, you know i i have not forgotten about david nunes but i you know i wanted to talk about last you know people said he's a flop you know he's this he's that you know he has over 23 25 goals almost 25 goal contribution this season you know if let's say he was an english he would have been over all you know medias you know um phil forden has 18 goals uh, what's it called? 28 goals, 28 goal contribution, and he's labeled world well, best player right now, Premier League best player right now. You know, those are the levels. I know that everyone expects Darwin Nunes to become or oh, the next Haaland. You know, no, you don't have to. He's who he is, and Haaland, who is he is. You know, this comparison of comparing a player to another player is not the right thing. I'm really happy he scored two wonderful goals, especially the first one was classic. Um, he probably shouldn't have celebrated in front of, you know, the mafia gang. <laughs> you know, Sparta Braga, Sparta sorry. Uh, you know, these teams, they have uh, ultras. It's not like England when there's no ultras, you know. They are, some noises you hear there, but these fans, they have really ultras, you know. Like if you go to Czech Republic, you know, Romania, it, uh, Turkey, Italy, these countries, they really have people who are devoted their lives for this team, you know. So, uh, he really shouldn't have celebrated there. Endo has always 10, you know, he will always give you eight minimum, you know. He was good, you know, Salah came, you know, looked sharp, looked, you know, ready, eager, hunger, you know, everything was there. So about the same, you know. Um, Javi Elliott, you know, Javi Elliott is giving that impact. Uh, Bobby Clark also, you know, when he came on, he was active. And that's what you want, you know. Even though they're kids, I know they will not play against Man City, Bobby Clark and, and his co. Because, you know, it's a big team. Liverpool will defend, you know. Depending on the results that As I Arsenal gets, you know, Liverpool will be keeping that in mind, you know. You rather draw, and you know, than lose, you know. You rather, you know, live with a positive. And by the way, if Liverpool gets any positive from that game, no matter what results Arsenal achieves, if Liverpool gets any positive from that game, I will fancy them having a good, you know, rest of the season because the hardest game uh, is Man City versus Liverpool. So, yeah, 
So yeah guys, I don't want to talk a lot, I don't want to take much of your time talking, that's my much reaction, how do you guys, did you like guys, if you guys are new to this uh, channel, please don't forget to subscribe, you know, make sure you subscribe to the channel, make sure you, you show support to the channel, and you know, yeah, I will see you in the next video, so take care guys.